It's terrarium time with Todd. We're out <laughs> foraging. So we're taking a break from painting and spending a bit more time outdoors. On this episode, we'll teach you how to create a terrarium so you can bring a bit of nature into your home. Come along. And if you're new to our channel, that's Todd and I'm Rob. We're husbands from Georgia. For the past several years, we've been renovating our 1920s loft, but now we're ready to tackle our biggest adventure yet. We bought a mountain home. Come along as we make progress renovating our charming cabin in the North Georgia mountains in our spare time, along with our pup Wally. We'll be posting remodel updates and mountain escapades periodically. Don't forget to click subscribe and join us on the mountain. Ain't nothing needed but a spin and a ride. Just take a chance, we got a wild ride. Wait and see, you and me, we were meant to be. We were meant to be. We were meant to be. It's more fun to watch you do it. <laughs> Go figure. Before we even have coffee on this Sunday morning, we're already deciding about bird feeders. So we're really wanting to put a bird feeder out on our porch. Even though we know it's going to attract squirrels, but you know, we want to see the nature and wildlife while we're here. So. Yeah, bed hair, no coffee, slippers, short sleeve shirt standing outside and it's 32 degrees right now. So. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we don't attract more than just squirrels. Hopefully or we're not attracting bears. <laughs> yeah, because there are some bears around here, but so. we'll see. At least we'll, we'll get to see them if they do come. Come on birds, come on, come on birds. the coolest little secret stream, I secret guess. bridge <laughs> in the woods behind our house. Come along. If there was ever in any doubt that Wally was a water dog. <laughs> oh, Back up the long hill. So like every direction we walk at her place, it's always uphill, it seems, <laughs> despite having just walked down this hill. <laughs>
We have a forager in our midst. <laughs> He's been spotted. <laughs> All right, we've got our little forager down there. <laughs> so Todd's gonna start creating terrariums. So I'm gonna bring you along as we try to find some little ferns and moss. <laughs> yeah, some native George North Georgia ferns and moss and anything else we can find around here to to make some terrariums and hopefully a little DIY and you'll get inspired to do the same. How much you got? You just got some moss for right now. I know, but you also have a canoe. <laughs> oh yeah. I needed a bucket to put it in, so I just used the canoe. <laughs> little fern. Trying to find some little moss and some little ferns and some little things that we can make into terrariums to make our space more green and alive. <laughs> we'll see how it's going. Yeah. Look what I got. Isn't that pretty? Got a little fern, got some moss. <gasps> I see a spider nest. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> it's a different kind. Todd's still looking for ferns and moss out here. Got yeah. a couple. Yeah. They love this place. And the cool thing is, we're just totally in our backyard right now. <laughs> <laughs> like going to our own little nursery. Hey, we're back. We had some foraging yesterday that was successful and we got lots of little ferns and little rocks and just like um, all kinds of little things that we can put into some terrariums that we're gonna be making today. You can make a terrarium just about out of anything as long as you have just like some pebbles, some soil, um, some moss and um, some little plants and um, and then just some decorative things that you can add in there. Yeah, so hopefully this will inspire you to be creative and create one of your own. So let yeah. us know if you do, we'd like to follow along. And before we get to planting, we're gonna have an apple cider and whiskey concoction to keep us warm on this rainy afternoon. Is it that time? It is. Oh. Yum. Alrighty, it's terrarium time with Todd. We've gotten lots of good moss, ferns, other materials to build some terrariums. I'm gonna start with some large size containers and go to the medium, small, and even really, really small one. Uh, so it gives you something that you can decorate your house with if you wanna um, build some of your own. Importantly, there's some tips to remember when building and maintaining a terrarium. First, choose plants that love humidity, as a terrarium creates a rainforest-like environment, and you want to avoid including plants like succulents, cacti, and those that thrive in drier climates. Second, place at least one to two inches of pea gravel or rocks in the bottom of the container, below the soil and plants, to ensure adequate drainage. As you maintain your plants, you'll be able to see if water begins to stand on the bottom of the container, signifying that they have ample moisture. However, make sure that the plants are not waterlogged or sitting in a puddle of water because this will undoubtedly result in damage to the plant's roots. If you find that you've slightly overwatered, it's often effective to leave the terrarium lid open for a day or two to allow the excess water to evaporate before resealing the container.
We're using mostly natural elements like river rocks and some rustic decor for our terrariums. But when you make your own, let your creativity run wild. As long as your decorative objects are not prone to break down or disintegrate in wet environments, you should be good to go. Finally, once your terrarium is complete, place it in a location where it will receive four to six hours of indirect sunlight a day. And then you can sit back and enjoy your creation for weeks and months to come. <laughs> I need some of those like terrarium tweezers because I can't get the little fine stuff that I want out. I'm trying to arrange it. I was in there giving a tour of the new the stuff on the shelf. I'm like, I need He's something sick. small. My big old hands just don't do it. Oh, it looks so Aww, cool. You don't see how I've made it? Look. Oh, girl. <laughs> Look. Can you see it? Am I moving too much? I think I'm moving too much. So this is all stuff that we just got out of the yard. Even a little pine tree, a little stick with moss on it and the rocks and just put a little bed of rocks in the potting soil and then arranged it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> 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 and treat. Mm -hmm. Greeny. Ooh. Let's get one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for tuning in again. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time as we finally start working on the landscaping as spring is right around the corner. Warmest regards from the mountain. Mm -hmm.